Let's consider another example of linear and angular speed. So the example is a ball travels a distance of 50 meters in a circle of radius 5 meters in 2.5 seconds. Find the linear and angular speed of the ball. So first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to write down what is given in the question. So as you can see it is given that it is given that s the distance s is right here 50 meters so s is 50 meters so the distance is given as 50 meters and the radius of the circle the circular path i should say so the radius of the circular path r is given as 5 meters. So the radius of the circular path is given as 5 meters. And the time t, the time t is given as, look at this, the time is given as 2.5 seconds. So my time t is 2.5 seconds. Now, what we need to do, we need to find the linear and we need to find the angular speed. So let's first find the linear speed because the distance is given and the time is given. So we all know that linear, linear speed, the formula for the linear speed is speed V is equal to distance S over time T. So as you can see, my distance S is given as 50 meters. So I'm going to write 50 meters over my time. My time is given as 2.5 seconds. So I'm going to write 50 meters over 2.5 seconds. Now let's divide 50 by 2.5. And if we do that, we will get speed, my linear speed as 20 meter per second. So my linear speed is 20 meter per second because 50 over 2.5 is 20 meter per second. So as you can see my linear speed is 20 meter per second, right? And my radius is right here. If you look closely, the radius is given as 5 meters. We all know that the relation between linear and angular speed is linear speed V is equal to R times omega, where what is omega? Where omega is angular, omega is angular speed. So this is what we need to find. We need to find the value of angular speed, which is omega. So let's substitute what is given. So my linear speed V is given as what? 20 meter per second. That is equal to radius. If you look closely, radius is 5 meters. So that is equal to 5 meters times my angular speed is not given, which is omega. And that's what we need to find. Now, let's simplify further. And if we do that, we will write 20 meter per second is equal to 5 times omega is 5 omega. Now we need to find the value of omega. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So if I divide both sides by 5, this side I can cancel 5 out. And what is left? We have only omega left. And 20 over 5 is 4. So my angular speed omega is 4 radians 4 radians per second because the unit of angular speed is radian so the value of angular speed is 4 radians per second so what is my answer so my answer is let's write our answer our final answer our answer is my linear speed V is what? 
20 meter per second from here. So I will write V is 20 meter per second and my angular speed omega omega is 4 radians per second and this is our final answer for the given example and this is how we will find the value of linear and angular speed if the distance traveled by the object is given time is given and the radius of the circle is also given